Hi, in this slide, uh, I want to expand on the idea in the last slide that if somebody uh, goes through a learning module uh, and d doesn't seem to get it, that they need to go through it again and be retested, but ideally they might be uh, go through it in, in, in different ways. So we're not just doing repeating, but we're doing uh, variations on a theme. And in this particular slide, it gets across the idea of variations on how people learn using different uh, senses, if you will. Um, so if the average person goes and reads something, uh, supposedly they're going to remember 10% of what they read. So when I, if I send people email or a white paper and say, read this, and of course you'll understand and do something with it, uh, that's going to reach a very small group of people. Uh, in this case, I'm doing video clips. So I'm saying, okay, uh, you know, watch my little moving pen and listen to me talk and so forth. Uh, so maybe that'll help a few more people uh, get the idea and do something with it. Um, also, I'm, I'm getting around the idea that uh, a lot of people in distribution aren't really great readers. Uh, they, you know, could be uh, 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 dyslectic or have other sort of learning challenges. Uh, uh, you know, a significant percent of warehouse people in America today don't speak English as a first language. So, the it would be nice if you could have video. Now, if they can they can hear it and see it, and that's kind of what's going on here. They can hear it and see it. It's going to be more. Uh, if they then turn around and talk about it and tell stories and share stories that illustrate the concept or they write something about it, it goes way up. And obviously, the best thing to do is just learning by doing. And this is where simulation games come in. So this is really just kind of an idea chart to help you think about how you're going to do your own internal just-in-time e-learning uh, uh, instruction. Now, you know, one of my grand overall hopes for all these little video clips is not that these, these are the final answer for all of your training issues, but they serve as prototypes where you say, you know, this is good. But uh, Bruce covered this way too fast for a particular subset of our employees. Let's do this a little bit slower and a little bit more deliberately and then put in some of our own company language and some of our own company people and some of our own company stories and air it out a little bit more and through the stories uh, of real people in our company doing demonstrating these things, it starts to 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 make more sense to more people uh, on an on an average basis, so this is just a uh, a stimulation slide to help you think about how to do variations on a theme, um, as well as as different media to help get across uh, learning and mastery to everybody. Thank you.